This is the Rebel Point Mini 3D Scanner, and these are some of my action figures. Today I'm going to use this device to scan and generate 3D models of each figure, and then I'll 3D print some of the models to show you exactly what they look like in physical form. Let me first say that this is an early access unit that was sent to me from Revelpoint to play around with and try out, and I'm not getting paid for this video. Now you may have seen me use a similar unit a few months ago when I made my miniature Marvel Legends video. That was this one over here, the Revelpoint Pop, which is an older model. But this new model, the Mini, uses blue light to scan objects instead of infrared, which results in higher precision scans, especially when you're scanning smaller objects. So I'm just going to jump right into it and scan these figures with both scanners so we can compare the results. I'll start off with the larger toys and eventually work my way to the smaller ones where we will see the most noticeable difference. I've got my first figure set up on the turntable. He is just over 7 inches tall and I loaded up the scanning software which is called RevoScan. I then had to select the settings. These will vary depending on the object that you're scanning. And then at the next screen, you'll get a chance to position the object before scanning. Uh, you got to make sure that the distance is showing up as excellent. You can manually adjust the lighting settings if you want. And then when you're happy with everything, you can start rotating the turntable and press the play button to start scanning. Here you can see the object starting to get captured. Uh, basically, you can keep going until you capture the entire object. Uh, you can pause in the middle and adjust the camera height as well. Now one of the challenges is that the object may occasionally go off track, uh, you'll see the image turn red. In those cases you can pause the scan and press undo and then readjust the object until you fix things. I found that the larger objects scanned without too much trouble at all, but uh, the smaller objects required a little bit more patience to get right. They lost tracking a bit more often, but if you take your time and make the right adjustments, you can get it to work. One more thing, if you're scanning an object that's really dark, it may not scan at all. And in those cases, I recommend using a scanning spray like this one from ASUB. It'll temporarily turn the object white, allowing it to be captured by the scanner, but then that coating will evaporate after a few hours. Keep in mind that these spray cans are quite expensive, but they do work well for the intended purpose. Okay, so I finished scanning the objects. Now we can take a look at the results. Now I'm still learning how to use this unit, so I'm sure my scans will get better over time as I get more experience. Uh, this is Hulk Hogan. You can see quite a bit of detail in the scan. And uh, here's a comparison with the Revelpoint Pop. At this size, you can see a small difference in the scans, but it's not too extreme yet. Now we'll take a look at the rest of the models, and as you'll see, the differences in the scanners will become more apparent as the objects get smaller. And as you can see here with the smaller figures, the difference in the scanners is much more noticeable. Now that we have the models, I sent some of them over to my 3D printers. First, I used my FDM printer, the Ender 3 Max, to print out the models in their actual size. And I also used my resin printer to print some miniature versions of the Hulk Hogan figure, so you can see the details in a smaller scale. And uh, you can see that the details actually hold up pretty well in a mini resin print. So that's it for now. Let me know what kinds of objects you'd like to see me scan. I'll definitely be using the scanner a lot more in my future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.